Watch you guys, today we're going to be taking a look at how to prevent browser based malware attacks on your system. Now, we all use browsers on a daily basis, and if you're not using the Windows Defender Application Guard, then you're vulnerable to man in the middle attacks, ransomware, and other types of malware that you can get by clicking on links in your email client. Now, if you open them up in Windows Defender Application Guard, it will keep you safe. Now, to protect it, you can use a tool from Microsoft. So go down to your search box here and type features and then look for your turn windows features on or off uh, area here. Click on this one and this will allow you to open up the features pane. There we go. And now what we're looking for is Windows Defender Application Guard. Now once you've done this you can put the little tick in the box and then click OK and this will install the actual software onto your system and uh, you will need to reboot your system. Now once this is up updated and installed, you'll reboot your system, you'll come back and you'll be able to use the Windows uh, Defender Application Guard to protect yourself. So how does this uh, Windows Defender Application Guard work? Well, when you click on it, uh, basically what's going to happen is it's going to open up the browser in a container and this is going to go through Hyper-V and it will protect your main host system. So if you clicked on, say for instance, a link inside your email and it opened up in a browser like this and you uh, was uh, tricked into some sort of malicious malware dropping onto the system, it won't drop onto your main computer, it will drop into a container inside this browser and it won't be able to go anywhere onto your main host machine. So if you got hit with ransomware or anything like that inside this main uh, Windows Defender application guard, it will be contained in this little area here and it won't do your system any harm. So it's a little added protection. It also can't use the uh, internet network connection between uh, the browser here and your host machine. It's contained inside this little uh, application uh, guard container. So it's a much more safer way to do it. And you can be protected uh, when you're doing things like that. So especially on email clients, when people click on links and it uh, redirects them to another site, it will always be contained in that area. Now, if you want to use, um, say, Google Chrome, you can use Google Chrome. There's a little extension you can download and add that to your browser as well, which will keep you safe as well. Now, in Windows uh, Enterprise level, you can set this up to opening up the browser with the Windows Defender Application Guard automatically. So every time they click on anything, it will automatically be contained inside that Windows Defender Application Guard as well, which is a nice added feature. And that's in your group policy. You can set that up. If you want to see that video, let me know in the video description. Anyway, that's about it for this video. My name is Ben Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.